Exactly. OK. Um, so in this case, guys, first thing I want to do, first thing is, I notice that this is the difference between two values. Bless you. Thanks. Difference between two values. So I know, therefore, I know this is hyperbola, right? Therefore, I know the first term is going to be my a squared. So I could say a squared is equal to 4. Therefore, a is equal to 2. It is plus or minus 2, but we're just going to be dealing with the distance. So we're not going to deal with direction, but yes, it is plus or minus 2. b squared equals 25. And so therefore, b equals 5. Or the distance, b is just going to be positive 5. c squared, remember for an ellipse, guys, is a squared plus b squared. So therefore, c squared is equal to uh, 29. So c equals the square root of 29, which cannot be simplified. Does everybody follow me with how quick I did that? Boom, right? Because when you have a quiz, like when I give you time, you want to be able to knock that out really quickly, right? The next thing is we want to find our h and our k. Remember, that's what we're subtracting from our x and our y. So we can say the center is at 0, 0. Now, I kind of have enough information that I can draw a general sketch. So I know my center is at 0, 0. Now, since my a is under my y, because remember, it's always a squared minus b squared, right? Since my a squared is under my y, my transverse axis then is vertical or horizontal? Vertical. So I'll just label my y-axis now just my transverse axis, because it goes through the center. And then this is my conjugate. Okay. You don't really have to, but I'm just, again, re-explaining a lot of things. We don't really, conjugate axis, we're not going to use that much. Um, transverse axis, though, remember, that's very important, because that's where your vertices and your foci all lie on. So to find my vertices, I'm basically going in the positive and the negative direction, plus 2 and minus 2 going up and down, though. So you go up 2 and down 2. And we'll label them vertice and vertice. My conjugate axis is square root of 29, which, ooh. Um, hmm. Square root of 29, where is that? Well, think about it. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 36 is 6. So would you guys agree with me? Square root of 29 is somewhere in between 5 and 6? Yeah. Yep. That's about, as, that's about as close as you guys need to get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Somewhere between 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Somewhere between 5 and 6. Foci, foci. So are we just dealing with B? Well, B is, if you notice, B was not on the hyperbola, right? Okay. However, why is B important? Because B can help us sketch our asymptotes. And I like to use B to sketch our asymptotes. So B in this case is 5. So we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's my covariance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's my covariance. So because again, remember what I told you is you can use your co-vertices. Let's use, I'll do it with this. Oops, I'm sorry. Use your co-vertices and your vertices. Because now what I'm going to do is connect my corners going through my center to find my asymptote. Now I can sketch my graph. And you guys can see it's a very wide hyperbola, right? Now, when you guys do have a problem like this, trust me, I'm not going to grade you down if your graph does not look perfect. But I just want you guys to use, see how we can use the covertices to help us find our asymptotes. But our question was actually to tell me what the equations were for your asymptotes. So we know the center is 0, 0. I went up or down to find my vertices, correct? So the equation of my vertices is going to be 0, comma, plus or minus 2. And we can just leave it like that for a problem like this. For my foci, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm going plus or minus square root of 29. 0, comma, plus or minus square root 29. I didn't ask you for your covertices, but that would be plus or minus 5, comma, 0. I did ask for your asymptotes which, since this is a vertical transverse axis, the equation per what you're given is y equals um, plus or minus a over b times x minus h plus k. Then do we know a? Do we know b? Do we know h? And do we know k? Yeah, so it's not that bad, right? a over b, so 2 fifths. y equals plus or minus 2 fifths x, and then 0, 0, right? And does that look about right, guys, up to over 5? Yeah, right? There's your resident line. Okay. 
Ta-da. Ah, tough crowd. Tough crowd these days.